Animations can take your Flutter app to the next level. While Hero animations handle transitions between pages, they don't work for in-page animations. We found a new Flutter package that makes in-page animations easy and in a beautiful way. I'm Erkan, and in this channel we share practical tips to help you build clean, high-performance Flutter apps. Let's dive in. iTunes, what do we have today? Maybe a very interesting package. Uh, let me show it. It's called Animated 2. It's done by uh, Tsuyoshi. We will go over it in the code uh, live. So you can go and find the package here, the latest version. But I'm not going to spend time on documentation. Let's directly jump into the demo. Okay. So one thing, what does this package do? It can animate a widget in the same page when its place is changed. What does this mean? All of you know about making some, you know, animated containers, animated aligns. So this is something very easy. So what are we telling right now? What's different about this? The difference is this. What in our daily lives, when, do animate, when we do animation, we animate a single widget in the same place of the widget tree. But what animated helps us do is animate a widget in different places of the widget tree. So right now we have a, a wrap widget with uh, 50 items. And when I press this collapse button, you will see that the first eight items will be in a single column. As you can see, the animations are from rounded to squares. I will go back. So this is not something very easy to do with regular animations because we are basically, right now, all these 50 items, parents is a wrap widget. And when I change the view, the parent is a column widget. Okay, let's go over other examples. This one, I think I like the most because it shows a real life scenario. This is a Kanban board. And when you press on an item, it goes to the next columns. So when I press the B item, by the way, I purposely made the animations very slow so that we understand what's going on. It went from the first column to the second column. When I press same item, it will go from the second column to the third column, changing color and going to the correct place. What happens if I choose something from the middle or from the top? The bottom one will collapse. This one will go to the right place. I can add a new one. Something very interesting. I will show you the code for this to-do cards. There is a single child scroll view for the whole page. And inside of it, we have a row. And inside of this row, we have three columns. So this is a row and we have three columns, the left column, center column, and the right column. The children of these columns are fed from left line items, center line items, and right line items. The moment we press one of these items, what happens is, for instance, if I press one of the orange items, it removes it from the left column, and at the same instance, it adds it to the center column. Basically, we are changing this item's place in the widget tree from this column to another column. If we didn't have animated two, what would have happened? We would immediately see this disappearing and we would immediately see it appear here. Talking about this item, T7 would appear here immediately. C would appear here immediately. So let's do it with animated too. Not only C is animating, but also as a bonus, T7 is animating upwards. So this is the strength of this package. And one very interesting thing that I actually figured out is when you make one of the columns empty, I wondered what was going to happen because, yeah, uh, don't worry about this. Even the whole third, the right column, collapses next to the uh, left column. This was very interesting. So let's go over That's some other examples. Do. I would assume that this, something like this has a very complex animations code or something. Oh, no, no. I mean, under the hood, there is some complex render box implementation. Some low-level stuff. Yeah, but for us pub dev users, it's really easy to use. Actually, that's a really good point. Erkan, let me show you where the magic happens. Let's go back to the Kanban board. 
this is very straightforward Flutter stuff. The only difference being the item object. The item object is wrapped with animated two, and we give it a duration. So let's make this duration one second. This is inside of animated two. We have an animated container. This just makes the color changes from orange to green to blue. So let's keep them at the same duration. Now, as you can see, it makes much more sense. With a one second animation. Okay, I will quickly go over other examples. This two line boxes is very similar. So we have two different columns and the same widget can go from one column to another column in an animated way. There's scrollable. This just showcases that we can have animated two in a single child scroll view in a scrollable widget. However, you cannot use it in a list view. This is because of the implementation of the render boxes, unfortunately. There is a simple demo which just moves these items from very similarly from one column to another column. This one is a real life scenario in my opinion. When you press on an item, the trailing widget, the trailing widget has a blue dot. When you press on another item, it goes over all other items and it stops here with a nice animation. The code is so easy. You would be amazed. I'm not going to spend time. So let's go to the 20th item and let's go to the second item. It comes back. Yeah, what else do we have here? The practice page. The author of this package uh, had this in a guest. I carried it here. Just watch it. So this is a basic wrap with all the items as draggable widgets and drag, tar drag targets at the same time. When you shuffle them, because all of these items cards are animated to cards, the shuffling happens. So you just call the list that shuffle and this happens out of the box. It's amazing because these are draggable items. So see what happens when I try to drag one item. It's like we made a game or we made a card game, but the code is so easy. You would be amazed. And then uh, me and Erkan thought, uh, what can we do with this package, which has some real life app building implications. And we came up with a concept. First, I will showcase that to you. So on the left side, we are going to write some ideas and we are going to add them to our list, which will be seen on the right side. I can see people building some cool games with this or using this package to add animations to their app easily. Like I've seen the implementation and I think it's just wrapping it with animated two widgets. Like how complex is it? Is it? I mean, you, it's you not... can go into the details. Yeah. Yeah. But by the way, Erkan, thank you very much again. Uh, you reminded me of the most important part of this, uh, the most important property, which is the global key of animated two. Uh, you need to set a unique global key. And this global key should be really unique to the animating widget. As long as you do that, the rest is handled by the framework. It finds, okay, I will explain it with our ideas example. So I have an idea and it's Erkan. And when I add this idea, see what happens. To the list, it goes from the text field to the list with an animation instead of just appearing here. I think this is a very useful thing for the users. They know what's going on. I'll write my name. It goes to the correct place. Some other idea. Okay. Yeah. I think you, while you add, like showing this, would you uh, explain me step by step, how can someone implement this? Like what is the thought process? Like how does this transition happen? Okay. Uh, I will, I will not jump into the code. I will just explain it as best as I can. So what happens is when we, right now, this is the text that the user entered. It's inside of the text field. We press the add idea button. A couple things happen at this time. So we use a trick in order for this to happen. We are not only using animated two, we are using a trick and I will come to that. Why? If this test text was a text widget, but not a text field widget. And it was staying here. If I removed it from the widget tree from the left side and add it to the bottom of the column here, then animated two would be enough. We, do, we wouldn't need any kind of tricks. But here, the reason we need is on the right side, these are text widgets. The type of the widget is text. In here, right now, this is basically the text field. So they have different widgets. So what I do is, the moment I press add idea, 
at the exact same place. First, I clear the controller, the text editing controller. And at the same time, I put this enter text on a stack on top of this, exactly in a pixel perfect manner. And after 100 milliseconds, then I remove this text from the stack. And at the same set state, this is very important, in the same frame, I add it to our list. And then Animated 2 is smart enough to know that, okay, I have a global key with test text here, and it's being removed, and it's being added to another part of the widget tree. Because of the global keys, the element is kept alive at all times. So it's smart enough to fill in the blanks and do the transition. And now let's go to the code. This is what happens. First of all, let me show you the animated text widget. It accepts a text and it's an animated two widget. It uses text at its, as its global key. It has a 400 millisecond animation duration from here to here. The child is just a text widget. Where do we use this animated text? Let's go. We only use it in two places, as you might have guessed. The first one is here, actually, chronologically, the first one is here, second one is here. Yeah, here, as I mentioned, we have a stack. Inside of the stack, we have a text field. We have a text field. We have a positioned widget with our inmate text. The second instance is our ideas list. Ideas list takes a list of ideas and it maps them to some animated texts. That's all. What happens when I press the add idea button? We uh, clear the controller, the text editing controller. We uh, show it, we uh, fire a callback and this callback is all the way to the top so that everything happens in the same set state. That's very important. We make the overlay text that position widget to null, which removes it from the left side from the first column. And at the same time, we add this idea to our ideas list, which makes the second column display it. And that's all. So basically, you just need to uh, give importance to timing and everything else is as you do. You just add the animate to widget. Let's write animated to uh, to our last examples. Erkan, do you think this was uh, clear enough? to explain this awesome package. But I think it is, it was very cool. It fe felt like you were going to do something very complex, but in the end, it's just wrapping your widget with animated tool and giving it some global key. And it was simpler than it, how it looks like. But, but if I were to use this in one of my ads, it will look very cool. Yeah, I mean, I always looked for something like, I love hero widgets. But hero widgets only work with during page transitions. But what if we are in the same page and we want to uh, transition a widget from different parts of the widget tree? We didn't have solutions for this. Yes, there were some packages, but none of them work good for me. This one works well. It's a new package. I'm sure it has some more improvements. It needs some improvements. So please use the package. Open some PRs, open some issues. The author is a great person. Talk to him. He has talks on... Uh, all these packages and some articles. Maybe in our next videos, we will cover more of his packages as well. Sounds great. So please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more of this. Uh, we are excited to make more content like this and give you more tips to improve performance and awesome packages like this. Yeah. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.